War Game has done it again. They've got another auctioneer tank out. My name's So Slow, and this is a Tomato Plays, where I bring you War Game's new tanks and try and play it as best I can, but I'm a tomato. So I'm going to hopefully let you know whether this thing will be worth picking up in the future, because the auction's already done. So let's get into it and figure it out. Uh, first up, just want to go over some quick stats. Uh, 390 average damage. Uh, we get uh, 258 pen on AP, 300 on the gold, and 68 on the HE. Our uh, rate of fire is 7 seconds on the reload with 18 seconds for a full reload, and that's with defense, optics, and the commander's vision system improved, or the improved aiming class, sorry. Um, and then on the second loadout, because I always do enough uh, field modifications to do two loadouts, it's vents again, improved hardening, and the turbo. But we go with a food on the second loadout instead of fire extinguisher. And being that this is a front engined vehicle you do run the risk of getting set on fire so unless you have a fully kitted fire fighting uh crew it may not be advisable to run the firefighting directive on this or you could run food and then run the firefighting directive um and not have an automatic extinguisher that would make your crew be like it had 100 percent firefighter if you have a whole bunch of those uh, directives laying around for your crew, which I don't have any on the press account. Um, other than that, let's uh, let's take this guy into battle and see what we can. So here we are on Berlin. Unfortunately, the original video that I played uh, where I would normally play over the uh, tanks and stuff. Um, turn the game volume down. It just sounds really, really loud in my ears. Uh, the normal... Uh, normally I would play these games. I wouldn't watch a replay. I would actually play them with you so you could see exactly how I'm playing. That video got messed up. I don't know what happened. It got completely messed. It was all jerky, lurky uh, when I went to go back and play it. And um, so I'm redoing this uh, over the uh, replays. So first up, we're, like I said, Berlin. We're coming out to the bridge and this E25 is doing things not really sure what's going on there got Artie shooting me um this is going to be really important so Artie just took 467 health this tank's top is absolutely uh just not armored look at that just right through the the mantlet the casemate and doing just gobs of damage and then here comes the next shot for 256. And all of a sudden, uh, we're down to 429 hit points uh, from our 1300 that we started the game with. And it just uh, was not good. But we were able to put three, two shots into the E25 for 372 and 348. Being able to hit that cockroach right there, just testing to make sure that the whole double barrel mechanic works. And so I am going to try that out because why not? 7032 here is in front of us, so we're going to move up a little bit and see if we can't get a little bit of better angle. Try and going to do the double shots here. Nope, but we do get lucky with a bounce on our gun mantler right there from the uh, CC56. And I'm just, I'm just wanting to try to do some damage here to try out this double gun mechanic to see if this thing is worth it. We're going to try again. Looking for a weak spot. Not quite. <laughs> but I figure what the heck. We'll continue to try and do this. Try and push forward. Try and uh, make a difference and help our team win. We are up three tanks, or we are up a tank, but we're down HP, uh, which is uh, always interesting place to be in. Um, the south is pretty much folding, as you, if you haven't noticed. Looking for a place to shoot again, 
and gets taken out before I have a chance to pull the trigger. So continue to push up. I see the BZ is looking like he's getting pushed. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get this 1357, but I have a really hard time finding a place to shoot him. thought maybe that that was a tank pushing the BZ, but I was wrong. But yeah, so I decide that, uh, you know what, we're just going to continue moving on. And if uh, BZ's in trouble, I can always come back. Unfortunately, I think it was uh, about this time that I noticed the South had collapsed. The T-20's running for his life. And I'm like, oh boy, we should probably go back and try and help win the South. So away I go, into overdrive, trying to get back with my 117 hit points to um, try and defend Cap. Letting people know. And just, uh, yeah, so I'm going to drive back here. Um, the 122-2 uh, was on the auction, and it went for 9,000. I got mine for 9,000 gold. And 9,000 gold is roughly uh, about just under $40, like 39 and some 96 or something like that. Uh, so what I tried to do was to... Um, I should have just shot once here, but I really wanted to do the whole double thing. And yeah, I should have just shot him once. But the uh, looking at other tier 8 tank destroyers uh, in the game right now. Or in the in the shop, I should say. And the STRV S1 is $44. Oh, and unfortunately, right now, uh, as I'm trying to see them, I notice that, oh, I don't have a shot because of the rubble in front of me. And so by the time I get turned around to actually put the shot in, try firing, and it derps into the wall, leaving us with kind of a heart-wrenching defeat. We should have won that. But uh, we'll go on to the next game and see how we do there. So far, our next match was Glacier, and this actually worked out pretty good because up until this point, I hadn't noticed that I was wearing a very green screen friendly shirt and uh, went quick through on this sweatshirt. So I said that I wasn't going to re-record, and then the recording got messed up and I get to re-record anyways, I guess. Uh, but like I was saying, with those, um, with the other tanks, and I'll put them up on here screen right now, uh, the STRV, uh, S1 in the shop, tier 8 tank destroyer is $44.32. The AMX uh, 105 is $43.53. The WG120 is $41.30. And the cheapest tier 8 tank destroyer is the American T103 for $30.65. So here I am, uh, getting back to the game, here I am hunting for that double shot. And the T25 AT gives me the very thing. And I roll lucky sevens. Uh, with that 777 damage, uh, 777 damage. Pretty crazy putting both of those shots into it. I could see how someone could have a lot of fun just blasting out double barrel shots into everything they see. Now, uh, I will admit that I do spend some time trying to put double barrel shots in this game, and it does get me uh, in trouble. And so I would say don't... Uh, waste all your time doing it. <laughs> but they are fun. Getting back to the cost of the tank destroyer. I think the roughly $40 that you're paying for a tier 8 tank with the unique mechanic uh, being probably one of the only tier 8 tank destroyers that has the double barrel um, is not outrageous or unreasonable. And I think it would behoove Wargaming to bring this thing out sooner rather than later and here comes another double Kablooey. and that's where I found out that yes indeed um, this tank does not have very good gun depression they come up all the way over that hill take quite a few hits and then I got taken out by the list and what are you going to do 1500 damage in, full, in essentially two shots was pretty Pretty nice, pretty fun. 
would have been a lot more fun to do this like over and over and knock out just a ton of damage but it is what it is so uh, let's uh, head to match number three and see what that brings us and here we are on Studansky. I think that's how you say it. I'm, I'm not I'm very sure. Studzani, Studanaki? I'm not sure. Anyways, we're on this map. And um, this time I tell myself, okay, we're going to hang back to do the tank destroyer thing and sit on the, the red line and see what we can pull off. Um, but yeah, so head to the south here. Going to get down on the K line and try and do some work. And while we're down here... Uh, we can finish my thoughts on the cost of this tank. I do not think it's overpriced. Uh, I think it's right in line with other tier 8 mediums, and I think it would behoove Wargaming to, in the next two to three months, uh, go ahead and throw this guy in the shop. Maybe for the 35 to $40 range, and let folks buy it. Um, by then, I think some folks, some people get comfortable with it. They'll see uh, some pretty crazy games uh, come from it. I think it has some some potential to really put up some monster games but it's in no way overpowered um it's not slow the uh, armor is not great uh the gun is kind of pretty okay but yeah it's uh it's just a nice little tank it's uh fun and i think if a guy did nothing but double barrel shots on everything that he could it could make to be quite entertaining So like I said, trying to back up our heavy tanks that are in front of us and our mediums, um, just working this K line, and I decide, you know what, the Progetto and whatever it else is down the down the line there, um, if I can move up so I can put shots into those guys, I can help keep my heavy and my medium safe. But unfortunately, the 176 does go down to the Skoda T56, which uh, I don't really know where that guy is. Oh, he's up up north uh, in the buildings. Someone was able to shoot him, but our Artie is doing some work. If I go ahead and try and load up a double shot and I miss, or I don't miss. I It didn't quite go off, but then he stopped and I hit the building. And so that was fun. So I look over here to the uh, left, see that the Bruschetto is moving in and I decide, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just tag him. We're going to let him know that, that our Pantera has um, tank destroyer support and put some more shots into him to try and help keep him alive. So uh, that's what we do. And it looks like we're doing all right with this game. There's the T-54 uh, Mod 1 uh, hanging out. So I'm like, all right, well, we're going to pull up the old double barrel here if I can. And we're going to give it a shot. And here we go. Uh, okay. RNG decided to put that one well over the Mod 1's turret. Um, which was not good for me. So our boys try and push, and the Progetto, or the um, Scorpion is able to take out the Mod 1. However, the Artillery takes out the Progetto, and then the uh, P-44 Pantera decides it's his turn to get up there and try and do some spotting, but they're the enemy team Scorpio. Scorpion. Scorpio. He might be a Scorpio, but it's a Scorpion. Uh is going to, decides that he's going to um, get into the action and take him out. So I try knocking this building down. I want to be able to shoot through this gap here. And my thought is that I can hopefully uh, put some damage in. What I really should have been doing was backing up. Um, knowing that the Progetto is still over there, knowing that there's a Scorpion in front of me somewhere, because I, I did catch that, assuming the Scorpion was there. So I looked here. I'm like, all right, if he comes through this gap, I'm going to I'm gonna schwack him with two. And so only one of them hits, but that also spotted me, which I got tracked by the Scorpion, which allowed the T-56 Skoda to annihilate me three shots, and I was done for. So... A hit point pinata, this thing is not. Do want to keep your distance. But let's uh let's head back to the garage and, and see what the results from these three games that I had to re-record uh actually is. Alright guys, so we're back in the garage here and uh just going to look at our three battles. 
Okay, I gotta play manager. I think I'm only gonna be able to show you two because this one, yeah, doesn't have any results on it. So uh, we lost all three, if I remember right. They were all defeats. Uh, on the two, we did get, uh, this was the first one, and then this was the third one. 1180 on both, 1500 on that center, that middle, middle battle, uh, but uh, earning wise, we did uh, use a consumable, shot some premium here, just didn't do very much damage, so um, I'm not 100% sure that these are uh, premium vehicles, but they were losses, so I can't say for sure. But if they're not, like I said, uh, I don't think that Wargaming was asking too much. I would like to see Wargaming put this back in the store uh, in a few months and give folks a chance to buy it for that 40-ish dollar price range. I think it's right in line. Um, and I think everybody did uh, a good thing. Uh, with these auctions, I'd really like to see Wargaming come in a little bit lower than what they want and allow people to kind of get hyped up and bid up for, for that tank or whatever. But uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comments and um, if you ended up getting one. If you did, how are you doing in it? And just your overall thoughts on this thing. Uh, again, um, yeah, just let me know. Anyways, uh, I will talk to you next time. And I, yeah, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> See ya.